Welcome to Peak, your new school and family. We are so excited that you chose us to journey with for your scholar's education, and we cannot wait until the new year starts. We know that this last school year has been a challenge, and we know that there will still be some challenges for the upcoming school year. But for now, we want to focus on you learning who your new leadership team is, talk about some of the great events that happen in our school throughout the year, and just tell you why Peak is such an amazing place. So your leadership team consists of me, your director or principal, Letha Harper, and my two deans, which are also assistant principals, Miss Melissa Curran, who serves second and third through fifth reading, Tierra Marshall, who serves K through first and third through fifth math. We also have great supports on our campus, and that is Mr. Carlos De La Garza, our Ops Director, Ms. Jessica Campbell, our Social Behavior Counselor, Ms. Latayon Henderson, our ESL Coordinator, and Ms. Teresa Johnson, our Special Education Coordinator. Last but not least, our front office staff. Ms. Crystal Delgado is our Office Manager and Ms. Carmen Benavidez is the Receptionist. As you can see, we are fully loaded. All hands on deck team is what we are at Peak. One of the great things about Peak is our scholar and teacher relationships. Our scholars get the opportunity to fill out surveys that express how they feel about their teachers and school. And over and over again, the results continue to show that our scholars feel loved, nurtured, and supported by all who work at Peak. And that's because of what we teach, the way we teach, and most definitely, the way we engage and interact with our scholars. Here at Peak, we offer many academic supports for our school. It's offered in many different ways. We offer tutoring, blended learning that focuses on math and reading skills. We have amazing interventionists and teacher assistants on our campus that offer small group supports for scholars, as well as our ESL program that supports scholars with their daily reading groups. Our SST team meet monthly to identify academic interventions based on scholar observations. Our curriculum is unique in that it consists of the IB framework, Eureka Math for conceptual based learning, and a strong literacy implementation. One of the ways we teach is through enriching novels that challenge scholars' ability to comprehend and think critically about the text. We know that more complex texts help scholars practice higher level comprehension and creates a joy and excitement for learning. But don't just take my word for it. Listen to Dean Curran and Dean Marshall about other great things and ways we teach here at Peak. The IB or International Baccalaureate program focuses on teaching students to think critically and independently and how to inquire with care and logic. The IB prepares students to succeed in a world where facts and fiction merge in the news and where asking the right question is a crucial skill that will allow them to flourish long after they've left our program. Our teachers work collaboratively to plan out six units throughout the year, which help our scholars explore important concepts and think deeply about global issues in all the core content areas. These units are transdisciplinary, which means that often what scholars are learning in reading connects to what they are learning in science and what they are learning in math and so on. At any time, parents can visit our curriculum website to see a brief summary of what their scholars are learning in each unit. In the primary years program, we also focus on teaching our scholars how to be a good learner. According to the IB, a good learner is someone who exhibits all the IB learner traits, which include caring, principled, balanced, inquirer, thinker, communicator, knowledgeable, open-minded, reflective, and courageous. Here at Peak, we use a conceptual math curriculum called Eureka Math. We love that our math program focuses on teaching students the why behind math rather than just the how to solve a problem. The curriculum starts with concrete understanding using manipulatives and models and then moves to using representative models like pictures and drawings. Scholars then transition to abstract application using things like traditional algorithms and formulas, number sentences, and more. During this time of the day, students also complete fast-paced fluency drills and application problems, 
in addition to showing what they know through an exit ticket and talking about the day's learning during the class debrief. We have a lot of exciting events and activities that build the culture here at Peak. Take it away, Ms. Marshall. Here at Peak Primary, we love our scholars and we work hard to create a culture and environment that's not only academically rigorous, but safe and full of joy and fun. How do we do that? Outside of our academic model, our scholars participate in so many events and activities at our school. For example, we have many assemblies and gatherings to come together as a community and celebrate students, like our monthly scholar celebrations, awards assemblies, pep rallies, and heritage programs that celebrate Black History Month, Hispanic Heritage Month, and more. Throughout these gatherings, scholars get to participate in performances, share their class chants, and learn more about what it means to have good character through fun activities. We also celebrate our students with lots of recognition, awards, and rewards. Scholars have the opportunity to make honor roll, AB honor roll, perfect attendance, and even attend our MGM parties that recognize scholars who are meeting, mastering, and showing strong growth on their benchmarks. In addition to our monthly and quarterly recognition, scholars also receive Griffin Gold all week when they go above and beyond expectations. On Griffin Gold Fridays, we pull names and those scholars have the opportunity to pick a prize, get a free dress pass, or have lunch with one of the school leaders and they can bring a friend. Aside from our gatherings and recognition, our scholars love attending specials every day. We offer Spanish, drama, PE, library, and art. You're gonna be blown away by our amazing art festival that showcases beautiful scholar work from all grades in addition to fun activities and yummy cultural cuisine. Scholars can also join extracurricular activities that align to their interests at Peak Primary. Depending on the student's grade, we offer running club, Zern math club, violin club, Mary Posa's Girl Scouts, champions after school program, and cheerleading. This is just a snapshot of the fun experiences our scholars partake in and one of the many reasons why our scholars love their school and why we think you will too. Parent involvement is a strong pillar for us here at Peak. We cannot do this journey alone. We depend on our parents to be engaged and involved in their scholars' education. We need you to be present and in consistent communication with your scholars' teacher so you can ensure that they are learning and growing academically. It takes a team, and we believe that our parents are top-notch. So, guess what? We don't call you the PTA group. We call you the VIP group because we believe that you are of elite standards. We hold monthly meetings and share updates about our school and we solicit your help with our school events. We also have room parents and this is where you can sign up to assist your teacher with tasks inside of the classroom. Things like cutting out letters, decorating, making copies, or helping organize class parties. With all of this going on, it is important that you stay connected. We send out emails and phone calls and text messages so it's very important that your information is accurate. But we also have a Peak Facebook page and a website that we need you to follow. And lastly, we also use Blooms as a direct communication with our parents. I'm going to toss it back to our Dean Cran to talk to you more about Blooms. We use the Blooms app to provide a little window into what is happening on a daily basis here at Peak. Teachers post pictures and video of class activities, events, and parties. They set up parent-teacher conferences, message back and forth with parents, and give updates on important academic and extracurricular events. Our classroom teachers are not the only ones to use Blooms. Our specials teachers and intervention staff also make sure to share with parents what their scholars are doing on a daily basis. Also, each week, Mrs. Harper sends out a parent memo with important reminders and information. And of course, parents can reach out to our friendly front office staff for whatever things they may need. And finally, we have our dress code here at Peak. Take it away, Ms. Marshall. We are a school that values equity and equality, and one of the ways that we ensure we are upholding equitable practices is through our dress code. Scholars are required to wear a school uniform as a sign of community and in order to neutralize variance due to socioeconomic disparities in addition to being convenient for scholars and families. First up, let's talk about our dress code on Monday through Thursday. 
Mondays are professional dress days at peak. It's no secret that we are shaping the minds of our future professionals and it's never too early to play the part. Scholars are required to wear white Oxford button down shirts with the peak crest affixed on the left chest. They should also have on a tie and a solid white undershirt. Blue blazers are optional. On Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, scholars are required to wear a red uniform polo with the peak crest affixed on the left chest. Pants and bottom options are the same Monday through Thursday and include navy or khaki slacks and navy, khaki, or plaid skirts and jumpers. Athletic or casual closed toe shoes are required in neutral or school colors. Okay, so who doesn't love a fun Friday? Spirit Fridays are a little more relaxed at peak. Scholars may wear jeans with a peak uniform top, peak t-shirt, or a college university top. Jeans may not have any tears or rips. Shoes must still be closed toe athletic or casual, but any color is acceptable on Fridays. Last but not least, let's talk outerwear. Outerwear in the school building is limited to solid peak colors only and minimal branding. Hoodies are acceptable, however, hoods must be lowered at all times. Pullovers, zip up, or quarter zip up are acceptable, however, shirts, ties, and collars should be visible at all times. When temperatures drop, scholars are able to wear coats during outside time. Please help us uphold our dress code expectations by ensuring your scholar is in the correct attire daily. If you have additional questions about scholar dress code, please refer to the PEAK primary website or email our primary receptionist at cbenavidez, B-E-N-A-V-I-D-E-Z at upliveducation.org. As you can see, you have made the right choice. PEAK is truly a great place to be. And we are so excited to be adding you to our family. Thank you for your time and we cannot wait to meet you in person. Here's to a happy school year. Welcome.